let's move on to other MMA news to round it off the end. It's kind of some good news, maybe, in the Cain Velasquez situation. You know, he's been incarcerated and in prison or, or in jail for now for like 90 days. It's been a pretty long time. Um, so he could be granted bail tomorrow. That's what they're saying. They're having a bail hearing tomorrow, and we might know Cain Velasquez might be free because his daughter, the alleged victim, um, just had her birthday, so maybe he could be home with her, which would be fantastic for him and his family. He's been getting a lot of support as of late. Um, his or his lawyers are arguing that he is not a flight risk, no. so he Bro, it, so he might get granted bail, which he, he, could be good. Here's the thing. Uh, Cain Velasquez has been an outstanding citizen. He's a good human being. He's a family man, but when the justice system fails, sometimes you just lose it. And, like, you know what? Hashtag free Kane. I don't give a fuck about anything that happened. Um, it's, it's, he shouldn't even be in jail right now. That's just my, well, he tried opinion. murdering two people, but well, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, okay. okay just saying so, like so murder is illegal. I mean, so, so do you blame Kane Velasquez for what he did? Do you think that sort of behavior towards a family member of his, justifies just sitting on your hands and just waiting for the justice do system. Do I blame him? Yes. But do I sympathize with him as well? Yes. Because if I was in that situation, I don't know how I would react either. You know, I think any of us in that situation might react the same way. But at the same time, like con- like actions do have consequences. He well, they don't, fired though. multiple they guns. They don't. That's, that's, that they don't. Because in the terms man- of the guy... Yes. Right. So, so but then where is the, where is, is the what justice? It, like, there isn't, there isn't any right. of this fucked up system. Right. That's so. what I'm saying. So it's like, you know, if this guy can't get justice for these horrific acts, I mean, we, we literally talk about like doing that to a child is the, one of the, if not the worst sin that could be committed on this earth. One of the most egregious acts you could do. And there's no justice, justice for it at all. So, like, Cain took it into his own hands, and do I agree, like, should technically you, technically, should you not do that? Well, yeah, of course not. But at the same time, like, bro, free the guy. Like, free him because the justice system absolutely failed him. Absolutely failed him. And it's like, if we continue to just allow this shit to happen and everyone's like, well, I don't want to get in trouble, don't want to do anything, so I guess people can molest my fucking daughter, like, there's obviously a fucking problem. There's obviously a huge problem in our justice system and it needs to be fixed. And unfortunately, like Kane was that guy, like, and I'm not sitting here justifying, you know, going out and trying to murder people. I'm not, I'm really not. But at the same time, like in this specific, you have to look at by it case by case. When you look at this case and you go, the justice system did nothing for this family, nothing for this daughter or nothing for this little girl who, who is, will be traumatized, who will need a therapy the rest of her life. Mm-hmm. And nothing was done about it. And I'm just tired of that. I'm tired of that in the justice system. So it's like something's got to change. And if someone's got to be the poster boy for it, like, you know, Cain Velasquez is that guy. And I think he should get a pardon from the president of the United States. That's not uh, immediately. I'd, I'd be shocked if that happened. Like, yeah, I mean, no, no, no. Let's it's be not going to happen. If anyone's getting a pardon, <laughs> yeah, no, be the other guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, the thing is, man, it's just, it sucks because, like, at the same time, like, yeah, obviously we all want Kane to be free. We want him to be with his family. We want him to be with, you know, the alleged victim and stuff like that. But like, you, you, you can't, like you just, you can't go around trying to kill people. It's like, it's just, it's just fucking, it's just shitty all around. So man. then as, and, and I understand where you're coming from. I do. I'm just, I'm playing the other side because like, I, I can't even imagine that. I cannot even imagine the rage of a father. Right. And like, yeah. Like knowing that this individual is getting off, like they, like he just like, Got out. Yeah. Just got out. Well, he got no, bail. Yeah, he got, he got bail. got bail, yeah. And, like, no consequences for his actions whatsoever. And it's like, what are you supposed to, are you supposed to live with that? One, you have the trauma of, of your family member that you have to deal with day in, day out, of maybe potentially never being the same person. And then you also, on the other hand, have to hear about this guy who's walked free or who was out on bail, whatever, not suffering any consequences. Like, that eats at a father's soul, man. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, in a way that I, I can't even fathom because I don't have... Have children i can't imagine what that's like i'm not justifying going out and murdering people or trying to but like dude fuck something's got to be done something's got to be done in this and in this individual specific case like something something if that means he's got to serve six months and six months but he this guy does not deserve 25 years he doesn't 
No. And that would be an absolute failure of the justice system if they gave him a fat sentence like that. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess that's what I, I'm I 100% to say. agree with that. Yeah. It would be a failure. Um, it's and just, he wasn't it's just successful. Unfortunate. You know? He yeah, but attempted is attempt. still, it's still a charge. It just it, it sucks. Free right, Kane Velasquez. But Free Kane and. Free Thugga, Free Gunner. You know, if you want to <laughs> give him a slap on the wrist, like I guarantee Kane ain't doing this again. But yeah, if you want to give him a slap on the wrist and make him, you know, maybe even freaking, I don't know, 12 months in jail or something like that. But, like, the guy's life should not be ruined. That's all. I guess that's kind of where I'm coming from. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say is, like, this guy shouldn't be able to not see his children for 15 years because of what this sick fuck did yeah. to his family. That's all I'm trying well, to say. Well, they can see him just through a window. So, yeah. <laughs> through glass and holes in him. It just sucks. I'm a big – I was always a huge Cain Velasquez fan, like – even in high school, back in like 2009, I my first report ever on a mixed martial artist was Kane. Like he was, it just sucks, man. It's it's heartbreaking. It's just terrible. It's just a horrible story altogether, and yeah. it just it fucking does suck. Thanks for bringing the mood down, Tabor. We have a good time. Hey, you know what? Hopefully, it is a little bit of good news there because if he does get granted bail, you know that would be amazing. That would be fantastic. And he deserves it. Yeah, he does. Like he deserves to at least be with his family through this horrible, troubling time. Apparently, yeah. they're not. They're, his trial might not start till maybe next April. They're saying. Jeez. So I mean, it could be a very long yeah. time, and to leave the man locked up the entire time, I think yeah. that's a bit of bit egregious because yeah. he isn't a flight risk, in my opinion. So it just sucks. It just sucks. <laughs>